What's going on everybody? This is your boy Mike from Trouble Down Productions and Nerdfeed.com and this is going to be my second of four videos of Who Is It series for non-comic book readers talking about comic characters that are, we are getting ready to see in season six. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Paul Jesus Monroe. Now, he comes in in issue 91, so if you watch my other video on the Gregory character, which you can click right there and check that out, uh, you can kind of see how the timeline of the comics and how they are going in the show are kind of are kind of going, you know what I'm saying? You can kind of judge that for yourself. But he comes in in issue 91. A lot of people say, well, why, you know, you, you post online about him and people say, why you call him Jesus? It's because when he got first got to the Hilltop community, uh, so many of the, of the community people thought he looked like Jesus Christ. So he just kind of caught the name Jesus. And that's what a lot of people call him by. Make no mistake though, dude is one of the baddest ass kicking dudes on the Walking Dead series to date, in my opinion. He is a actual hand-to-hand -hand fighter combat person. Like he's, he is, I, I would go as far as say the dude's a warrior. I mean, he's one of, like I said, he's one of the baddest dudes we've seen on the Walking Dead series. Even though this is really not relevant, uh, in the comic series, Jesus was gay. I don't think that they're going to play it that way in the show. They might, um, but because Denise in the comics was dating Heath and in the show they turned her gay, now we have two gay couples on the show. I'm not real sure that they're going to play Paul like that in the show. They might, but it's I, because they did that to Denise, I'm not sure that they will play it the same way in the show. The actor that they have chosen for the role is Tom Payne. Now, I can't really speak on his acting skills. I know he's got... got I don't know, close to maybe 20 movies that he's done, uh, along with a couple other smaller things, but none of those movies were really high budget movies, and I haven't really heard of them, to be honest with you. Uh, so I can't really speak on the guy's acting skills. Uh, I know he looks the part, uh, some of the pictures, the images that we've seen of him on set, he really does look like Jesus. So I think, you know, he's got the look part down of it. As long, I think as long as they play that character as at least close to a direct adaptation from the comic series, we are going to get blown away by this character. I'm telling you guys, you guys are going to love Paul Monroe. Now, Paul's not only great at combat skills, but he's also a great escape artist, tactician, and even becomes Rick and Ezekiel's front runner to help them take on the saviors later on in the comic series. The first time we see him in the comics, he don't really have any lines. He he actually comes out the woods and is looking at Alexandria through binoculars. So I think that's what we're going to see in, at the end of episode 9. We will probably get that because that's a really epic shot. So I really think that we're going to get that shot at the end of season or at the end of episode, episode 9 is him looking at Alexandria through, through the binoculars. And then in episode 10 is when it's been said that he is supposed to debut and... In the comic series, he wrestles around with Michonne and Abraham with ease, pretty much. He, he pretty much immobilizes both of them with ease because uh, the dude's just that bad. And I, I think we're going to see somewhat the same thing in, in the show, I, except I think maybe it'll be Abe and Sasha instead of Michonne. But he is a good guy, and... It's one of the characters that I personally cannot wait to see. As long as they do it correctly, he is going to be completely awesome. And I think, finally, we will probably have a character that overshadows Daryl. To date, I don't believe that we have seen anyone on the show with the type, with the skill set that he has as far as fighting and, and everything else. Because he's good with weapons, too. So... I mean, the dude the dude is completely awesome, and I can't wait to see it. That's about all I got for you guys. Like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to check out my Dead the Zombies group and NerdFeed.com because I got a giveaway going, two giveaways going in my Dead the Zombies group. And I'll put that link in the description below for you guys as well. And I will also put the wiki for uh, Paul Jesus Monroe. Love you guys. NerdFeed.com, Dead the Zombies. You guys rock.